What is up YouTube? This is VMonkeyFX back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than what I normally do on this channel. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Sony XB800 headphones. Now if you can see these words right here on the box. Let's see if I can get my camera to adjust. Extra bass. So um, yeah, they're supposed to be kind of related to here. Let's get this back in focus. They're supposed to be kind of related to, if I can get them, uh, these. These are the XB400s. Um, not really uh, terribly impressed with them. They do what they say. They have pretty good sound quality, but they just they just kind of feel cheaply made in my opinion. These retail for about uh, uh, $30. Um, pretty cheap headphones. Good for the price, but... um. Usually I like to get a little bit more uh, spendy headphones and get a little bit more for my money. That's just kind of my style. So, um, yeah. These retail for around 150 You can actually get them on Amazon for around $80. Bucks. Uh, I got them for 50 So, kind of got a steal on these. That's why I'm hence reviewing them. But, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So yeah guys, this is the XB800 uh, box, you know, a uh, pretty simple packaging, nothing too uh, elaborate about it. Uh, decent packaging, gonna protect the headphones pretty well. But um, yeah, you see on the front you just kinda got your extra base, uh, picture of the headphones, Sony logo, uh, Amazon sticker. And then on the back you get a little bit of information on the engineering that went into these headphones. Now these headphones are specifically designed to produce as much bass as physically possible. So, um, yeah, it's a piece of art, actually, in my opinion, by Sony. And uh, real inventive engineering into these headphones. It's a real interesting piece of technology. So, slide this thing off. If it'll come off. There we go. And you just got a basic black box, you know, throw this over there. Um, then you just open this up like that. It's got a little hinge. And uh, pretty straightforward, we have the headphones. So, uh, yeah, I guess um, I'll do a quick little listen to them. And then I'll get right back with the uh, first impressions that I have on this headphone. So that's that. And here we have the headphones again. Now, um, this headphone is, um, they're not bluffing when they advertise these headphones. They are really, really, really bassy. Like, I don't know why you would necessarily want this much bass in your headphones, but um, I'm a bass head myself, and I found it, like, my ears were hurting, so... Um, if you want bass in your headphones, these are going to do the trick. I am very confident in that statement. Uh, these are good for any type of electronic music, hip-hop, rap, uh, anything like that. Uh, overall, uh, these headphones do have a pretty solid build quality. As you can tell, they're sort of a padded headband up here, kind of expected. Uh, really, really soft ear cushions, like memory foam almost really soft and this is an on-ear design obviously uh, so yeah this type of cushion is basically just gonna give your ear a nice seal and it's going to increase your sound isolation which will like um you're, you're not gonna hear as much for the people around you and um they're not gonna hear your music as well now there's one thing that sort of contradicts that statement is that you have two bass ports on the bottom which is kind of a thing now with closed back headphones. You have these bass ports, and that's going to make it so that people can hear your music a little bit more, but the sound leakage wasn't too bad in my opinion. It um, it was okay. Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, these sliders work really well. Nice and easy to use. Don't have any uh, complaints about that. Doesn't look like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, yeah, now, 
this thing, one thing you might want to note about this is that unlike other really expensive headphones, this does not come out. So it kind of looked like it did on the box because it only goes up to one side. But uh, the cable does not disconnect. It goes to a, uh, this is a flat cable by the way, um, not a spaghetti cable. And it comes to a, I'm going to focus on this, 90 degree 3.5 millimeter jack. So, uh, pretty standard. A really high quality connector. It's got a little bit of a spring, springy type thing. It's like, uh, it'll prevent it from disconnecting from the solder and then therefore ruining your headphones. So, uh, I don't see any problems with durability in the cable. Um... This is another bit of a stress reliever on the solder. It'll sort of give it more durability. But, uh, yeah, as for the style, here they are. Uh, you know, uh, think what you will about it. But the sound quality. Now, like I said, they are not short on their advertisement. These are probably the most bass-heavy headphones I have ever listened to. Um... Yeah, they just got tons of bass. So much bass that it actually kind of... I wouldn't suggest it for anything where you're going to be like country or anything like that. I wouldn't suggest these headphones. I would suggest going for like Sennheisers or something. Because the clarity is... It's present. There's good clarity. But it's not the best. I mean, what do you expect from extra bass headphones? I mean, you want to hear the bass. So, the... Highs and mids aren't exactly where I would like them to be, but um, for the average listener, like just any regular consumer, these headphones, the sound quality is going to blow you away. Like dubstep, electronic music, anything like that, rap, these are just going to be perfect. So um, I guess those are my first impressions, basically an all-out review. Uh, so yeah... I hope you guys uh, found this video useful. I definitely recommend picking up these headphones, by the way. Just go to Amazon, get them right now. You can get the XB300, 500, and 700, and the 1000s. Those are outdated headphones, and I don't think they actually manufacture them anymore. But um, they're sort of the older version, older style. A little bit different than this. But... Uh, yeah, they're pretty, um, they're a little bit better than these, I'm not going to lie. The clarity is just a little bit better on the older style, the bass is a bit more precise. And the XB1000s, oh my god, those things are perfect for electronic music. If you're into dubstep at all, those things will blow you away. But uh, yeah, that was my unboxing slash review slash first impressions on the XB800s. And uh... Please like the video, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos done, and uh, we'll see you next time.